Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back with another StarCraft 2 1 vs 1 bot AI cast. We have got ourselves a new bot on the block. It is going to be Mini Toss, a uh, self described cannoner, taking on Mecha Shark, a uh, Terran bot that is one that I've definitely enjoyed watching in the past. In fact, honestly, almost all of these bots that we cast are incredible. It goes to show the detail that these bot authors put into their bots. It, they're, they're like all snowflakes, not in the sense that they're delicate or breakable, but that they are all unique, and that makes these bot casts incredibly fun to watch. So, this one's gonna get started pretty quickly, I feel, here. So make sure to go ahead and slap that like button, ladies and gentlemen. Leave a comment down below if you want to see more of these bot games. Say, more bots! Just scream it into the comment section. Subscribe if you're not. I'm gonna see if we can hit 10,000 subs by the end of the year. And then, yeah, just check out the links down below. Consider becoming a YouTube member. All, all that jazz. And we have got the SCV pull onto this pylon as Mini Toss is beginning its cannon, cannon and shenanigans. It's already got the forge done. No cannons done just yet. Now, the thing I will say about Mini Toss is that it was described, I believe, as a macro, as a macro bot, a macro cannon bot. So a little bit of macro cheese, a little bit of normal play. Unfortunately for Mecha Shark, it's having some very bad padding here. With these SCVs being caught up on themselves, they'll be free once this cannon's out, once this pylon's out of the way, but I fear the damage may be done by that time. SC cannon rushes are fairly simple to defend as a human play, as a Terran for the most part, but the problem is that uh, usually you have your SCVs pulled correctly, so that was a bit of a blunder there. It does look like that the defense for Mecha Shark is pretty darn good for, uh, the Terran bot, however, so it does deal with that despite the hiccup there. Got a little bit worrisome, but Mini Toss seems not to be one to give up. It's going to be going for more cannons, and that is what I love to see, just the, the dirt. <laughs> so, Mecha Shark, it's got some SCVs dancing back and forth, I guess just waiting for uh, potential engagement or a dive on a cannon, that sort of thing. Anyway, good defense for Mecha Shark. That's got to be one of the first things you program in your bot dealing with the basic rushes mini toss going for the main but behind this it's actually going for a nexus expansion a gateway mecha shark says oh that's interesting as there's now an attempted pylon on the high ground i guess mini toss just trying to throw as many as many wrenches in the gears of mecha shark as possible but the way that this bot was described was a cannon macro bot and that's the impressive thing making a bot that just goes for cannons, that's definitely very doable. Making a bot that macros behind it or has follow-up, follow, follow up, that's got to be the difficult part that takes a lot of uh, thinking and a lot more time to program. So we'll see how uh, how Mini Toss is going to be able to do here. It's got that Nexus on the way. Got the two gateways, so we'll be able to get out some units soon. The cyber core is on the way, potentially stalkers or adepts to be made, and it definitely will need those, as there is a reaper on the way for Mecha Shark. Now that Mecha Shark has dealt with this rush, it seems to be transitioning. It's got a bunker on the high ground, a very safe move. I'm not sure if this is just generic play by Mecha Shark or if this is directly a reaction of the rush. Either way, it's got that ex command center on the way. It also said classic Protoss. <laughs> that was very much a classic Protoss move and Mecha Shark dealt with it fairly handily. We've now got one Stalker on the way for Mini Toss, plus one attack, making use of that Forge. Makes sense when you've invested in it. And then, yeah, the macro is just just beginning here as we do have that Expo done for Mini Toss, Expo on the way for Mecha Shark. A Factory is on the way for Mecha Shark. And this Reaper is looking to get some probe kills, so it's already in that natural base. Probes are trying to pull themselves against that Reaper. The question is, where's that Stalker? Looks like it just popped out, so we'll be able to kill that SCV that was scouting, then ideally prevent any more probes from dying. Four have died, I believe one or two in that rush, and then just one to the Reaper there, so... Yeah, we see... that Reaper now returning on home. I guess it got some of the information it wanted, or met whatever requirements it had. Now a couple Hellions are on the way for Mecha Shark. Hellion 
Hellion attacks early on against Protoss players can be incredibly strong if the Protoss doesn't react properly. If you're if you're a Terran ladder hero, that can be a way to deal with Protoss if you're if you have a hard time with say the late game. Kill him early with Hellions can definitely be a valid strategy. And so we'll see if Minitoss is going to be able to react to something like that, or how well Mechashar goes for such an attack. As it does have two Hellions out, it's making two more. No Medivac has been produced, so it's not going to be a drop. Probably just a direct dive on in. And either way, we are we are cruising with the macro. A cannon's going to be going up for Minitoss. Still making use of that forge. A shield battery's on the way at the front. Might want a battery in the mineral line as uh, that's where the Hellions will get their damage done. Still, though, it's good to see that the developer of the bot is kind of check checking those bases. The cannon, of course, will also be detection, which it will need to deal with a Banshee. It's going to need more detection than just a single cannon, though, with that cloaked Banshee on the way. We do see the Hellions now trying to dive on in. The Stalkers are in position, though, and well defended. Yeah, Minitoss throws down another cannon at the front, so it's really using those for defense uh, for frontal attacks, but harassment could be its undoing here we shall see so far though good defense early on looks like it's going to be moving out with these stalkers probably to secure this third base no blink or anything is on the way either for mini toss so we'll see if it's going to fall into one of those kind of protoss traps in which it uh in which it goes just very basic on the gateway units like some of these bots do it does have warp gate though so it's already doing that Getting the faster warpins. A Twilight Council is on the way. No Robo just yet. And in comes the Banshee, unfortunately, heading towards the main base where there shall be no cloak to deal with it. And I know I'm really focusing on Mini Toss for this cast, obviously, because Mini Toss is a new bot on the block. And that's always exciting. We do have Mecha Shark, though, doing all sorts of things right behind this, getting up a third base, getting a bunker at the third base. I love to see it. Hyperflight Rotors is on the, on the way. In comes this Banshee. We'll see how long it takes for the Stalkers to react to defend this. So far, a couple have been assigned to defend this. Unfortunately, Mecha Shark is not, I was going to comment on this, is not a bot that isn't efficient or isn't inefficient with its banshees when there's no detection some bots will be like oh there's stalkers i better get out of here or target target the stalkers you can lose a lot of probe kills there mini toss is not doing it or mecha shark is not doing that it is just strictly annihilating all these workers here there's another couple more cannons on the way just at the third we may have found a position that mini toss comes up short and that is dealing with this harassment there's already another Banshee out heading towards the main base, and we may be seeing a bit of a weakness here in Mini Toss. That Banshee will eventually run out of energy, so it could die. Mecha Shark is saying, oh, that's interesting. Not sure exactly what it's seeing there. Maybe the Blink researching. Looks like one of those Banshees almost goes down. There's a scan being dropped on that base, but it is just dead probe city here with 38 going down. The third is being saturated. So so, I mean, there's a bit more mining going on there. Mini Toss seems to have a bit of mining redundancy, which it tries to balance its bases, though, which is really unfortunate in this case because it's actually just feeding workers directly into the mouth of that Banshee. And, oh, man, I am sorry to the sorry to the author of Mini Toss. I know they're excited to show off their bot. I kind of went uh, went against them, though, because they, li they link some replays in the Discord, in the SC2AI Discord. Big thumbs up for doing that as a bot author. Unfortunately, they said, I, I believe in the comment, they said that their bot wins. And I thought, how am I going to commentate a game that I know, know which bot wins? I generally do not like doing that in any circumstances. It makes it a lot harder to commentate because I kind of can infer what's going to happen or whether, say, an attack will be successful, that kind of thing. I had no idea how this game was going to go when I clicked on it, since I just found a random Mini Toss replay. So <laughs> that's uh, that's unfortunately here. Mini Toss definitely going to need to work on its on its uh, cannon placement, potentially, ju or just on its observer behavior overall. It's now down 13 workers to 67. I'd say, hey, maybe it can come back, unfortunately. There is yet to be a single observer. So the bot author obviously done a lot of great work, maybe trying to cut a few corners, however, or uh, simplify with the cannons just for defense. A very significant weakness for it. 
and we do see more and more banshees on the way for mecha shark if mecha shark had just made one or two i'd say all right it's gonna be fine that is not the case though <coughs> excuse me as uh yeah mecha shark seems to have done critical damage here and i think that is uh that is what we have seen from this game banshee's still flying around i mean mini toss it's producing more and more workers it does have the cannons at the third at the natural base that does actually help shoo away the banshees overall actually sending them all home so maybe there's a chance here for mini toss it's definitely down on the ropes down 100 supply crazy things do happen in bot games however who knows mecha shark could just sit back all day it does have the word mecha in its name and yeah, 1-1's one on the way for Mecha Shark. Mini Toss, gotta rebuild a lot of workers before it makes any units, that kind of thing. Chrono boosting them out. So, like, it does have the redundancy. It doesn't just fall apart. Banshees are gonna be moving across the map for Mecha Shark. We'll see if it changed target this time, and it looks like it has, heading back to that main base, which could very well be the undoing. A scan goes down, and yeah, all those Banshees are moving towards the main base. We'll see if they hit that natural, take damage, and potentially get sent home again, if they do. And they do take a bit of damage, so the Banshees may uh, maybe repelled once more. They're gonna find one worker. Stalkers blink on top of a Banshee that isn't cloaked does go down uh, we see mini toss getting more and more upgrades so it does actually have a lead in that regard mecha shark though definitely has the economic lead still doubling the workers of its opponent ahead on bases and i may have to cast another mini toss game behind this one uh and i'll definitely keep tabs on whether the bot author potentially addresses this weakness in it because it definitely had the option to build a robo it had the economy it didn't sort of shoehorn itself into that place and the cannons definitely are not a bad catch-all unfortunately they don't quite ca <laughs> i know i just said catch-all catch 99 percent unfortunately banshees are quite common from terran bots and that does leave mecha shark with a vulnerability it is up to almost 50 workers however so the banshees they got their first move off and now they've been unsuccessful. We do see this third base quite undefended for Mecha Shark. It's got a slow tank based army. There's a chance Mini Toss may have some success with this attack. The Banshees are forced to cloak and retreat. They are getting some shots off, but in comes Mini Toss going for a big commitment here. I just, this game is delivering more than I thought. As yeah, Mini Toss going for an attack. We'll see how fast Mecha Shark responds to this. I mean, tanks can absolutely crush this army. They got to get in position though. Stalkers positioning themselves working away on this natural command center hellbats are coming on in they might actually drive the stalkers further to the main which may be bad for mini toss or for mecha shark pardon me mini toss dropping down hallucinated archons you gotta love to see that we do have a battle cruiser out however for mecha shark off the back of its insanely advanced economy that natural base was pushed off though scvs transferring will die so mini toss not dying in this game Without getting its licks in, we see a battle cruiser teleport out. Where did it go? Uh, that is a question to be asked. Oh, and the answer is the third base. So cool to see Mecha Shark not just uh, not just teleporting it to the natural or something like that. Having smart behavior on those, and it looks like the army of Mini Toss was completely demolished. We now see some stalkers warping in as the Banshees are attacking the third base. And oh, Mini Toss actually did make an observer at this point in the game. So I'm not sure when that happened. But look at this, Mini Toss also pushing the fifth bit or canceling the fifth base, I believe. They're getting some more SCV kills, evening up the worker count. That is really cool to see. And yeah, I guess Mini Toss not just falling over yet. I know Mecha Shark's Mecha Shark kind of doing the thing that almost humans do sometimes, which is having a vastly superior army, but not going for the throat. And so this has given Mini Toss an opportunity to get a bit of damage done, not a cataclysmic amount of damage but a bit it was able to cancel a fifth to push a natural base off and i'm not sure where that natural command center floated it may have eventually burned down and i think it did so a base was killed there 
uh, base, I believe that that base was a kill, not a cancel as well on that building command center. So Mecha Shark, all of a sudden, not as ahead as it was. It's still got an incredible army to its name, and it's all going to depend on the positioning. We see good micro from Mini Toss, so actually blinking a stalker on top of that tank, and these are plus three stalkers. They pack a bit of a punch. I'm very concerned if they blink into the siege tanks, though, as this is a huge number of tanks. They're going for it. Are they going to get on top of the tanks? They're walking forward, so while they are taking big losses, they're not going to just take a horrendous trade, getting some kills on the tanks, and now killing more SCVs that are in that are in transfer. The battle cruisers from Mecha Shark are getting some efficiency. Behind this, though, Mini Toss building more probes, getting up more bases, got a fifth on the way. I believe the actually puts it on par with Mecha Shark's bases, arguably in the lead, because Mecha Shark doesn't have that natural command center up anymore. Banshees are going for blood though as they there's enough of them to two shot down a stalker there mecha shark getting its upgrades still getting a new command center on the way at this natural scvs unfortunately not able to uh to help build this base it's a it's a one-man project scvs are very independent we've got more gateways on the way for mini toss so it seems to be sticking to that with nine out already and then three more finishing up it's just going for the mass gate strategy at least it is backing that up with upgrades though it's also got charge charge is incredibly good against siege tank compositions not so good against the battle cruisers so we'll see how that goes but one of those bcs actually died pardon me for my observing as should be the description in this on my channel about page pardon my observing i maybe i may have to set it to that we see four shield batteries on the way as this fifth base is getting secured. And I can't believe that Mini Toss was able to bring us back, really showing us that there's great redundancy in this bot. It has not won this game yet by any means, and it still could very well die. All it takes is Mecha Shark to position its tanks properly and move out. We see Mini Toss, though, still with a slight upgrade lead. It's securing a six base, which is crazy, building more and more probes, which is actually what it wants. When you're playing this mass gateway style, you want to be on almost like 90 workers. I'm getting a little bit concerned here, though, at the battle cruiser count. Mecha Shark is up to two BCs, but we're seeing three built at a time, and it takes some serious cash to pull that off. Mecha Shark, though, is maxed out, though, so it can feel free to trade, and Mini Toss is far from maxed out as well, so. If there if there's a trade as well, it's not gonna go well for Mech for Mini Toss as it's got the less efficient army. It's got less of it too. So hopefully for Mini Toss, I'm kind of cheering for the new bot here a little bit. It's that it will attack somewhere that Mecha Shark is not, and it seems to be moving out again. And Mecha Shark really is out of position here. There is a blink on top of the on top of the battle cruiser, Killer's Instinct programmed into this bot kills them. That plus three attack on the stalkers is no joke. These stalkers are actually now able to kill a factory that was just kind of hanging out there. This is where things could get a little bit messy when there's more than just one unit for mini toss to blink on top of tanks starting to shoot away hellbats buffering getting killed another killer blink on top of a battle cruiser stalkers moving forward into tank fire there's only two and the micro seems to be pretty good from mini toss blinking on top of the tank splitting there's a large amount of bunkers the tank is not sieged however we see stalkers attacking into the third base of mecha shark uh these stalkers now working away on these bunkers scvs trying to repair them losing an orbital command is a big blow to mech to mecha shark though we have yeah just only two orbitals left for for mecha shark mini toss killing off bcs their retreat behavior not quite being super efficient with mecha shark and we saw the crawl forward that mecha shark was trying to do and it, these tanks could potentially kill off like 2,000 resources in static defense, but Mini Toss seems to have taken a great engagement, is all of a sudden massively ahead in supply. The planetaries for Mecha Shark will be a bit difficult to crack, as planetaries are in these bot games. I say it pretty much every time I see a planetary. Mini Toss's micro is really darn good on these stalkers, though. It's going to attack this planetary with the plus three attack. 
really, really helping out. It can't be overstated how much extra damage those stalkers deal with the plus one attack. There's SCVs repairing this base. There is even building armor on it though, but there's just not enough SCVs to keep that planetary alive. So the natural dies once again. Tanks not really inching forward far enough. And even if they did, there's plenty of bases here for mini toss. And man, I'm, I've been pleasantly surprised that mini toss was able to come back in this game and now take a drastic lead. Mecha Shark's gonna need as good of a comeback as mini toss had, as it had. Planetary taking shots. I mean, there's not an unlimited amount of resources for Mecha Shark to repair this PF. The two SCVs are trying as well as they can. We see them getting targeted down, so it's only on one brave SCV to repair this planetary. I think that's going to go down as well, and it does indeed perish. We see a few stalkers trying to engage. I think they killed off those tanks. Ravens and Banshees are on the front lines. The Banshees, really, what could have won Mecha Shark this game early on, are still the thing that is doing well by it. As there is observers out, but they're not quite in the proper position. We do see a prism being made as well. Uh, I haven't really followed that too closely. Not sure if it's just for micro or harassment. Either way, this planetary has gone down. There's one tank sieging up. It may get a shot off on some injured stalkers, and it does no kills, though. Uh, there's another orbital to the top over here. Mecha Shark trying to get its economy back online. Building SCVs. It's got... Let's see, where are the Banshees? Still these Banshees around and out on the map, trying to get what they can done. Attacking into this static defense is a bit of a mistake, though it will take them all day. And I gotta say, if Mecha Shark does lose this game, it was really because it didn't capitalize on its lead. Of course, that's almost impossible to program a bot to have that capitalization to realize when it's won a game. Uh, Mecha Shark was maxed out though, so maybe it did need to be a little bit more aggressive. Go for, go for the throat, so to speak. Could be an option to program into the bot, say like, Hey, I've scanned my enemy or I haven't seen too much supply. I think I could go for an attack. Of course though, Mini Toss's army movements. I don't know if it was just by pure luck that the bot or that the bots program to attack the natural and Mecha Shark focuses more on defending the expansions. It worked out incredibly well though for Mini Toss, as it was able to uh, it was able to just completely bypass the army. If it had gone into the army of Mecha Shark, it would have just died most likely. It did take great engagements. Don't get me wrong, but if it had gone into like all the tanks at once, I don't think the great engagements would have been that great. We see bases dying for Mecha Shark. It really doesn't have that much left. It hasn't made a unit in a long, long time. We see Mini Toss hitting a bit of a bottleneck on its gas as it's got 6,000 resources and not really taking its gas optimally. It would seem as it, uh, I mean, it's got seven assimilators, three of them are expired. So may, maybe needs a bit of macro fine tuning there. Either way, though, I do believe that Mini Toss pulled off a great comeback. Mecha Shark kind of let that happen. I was honestly so surprised when when Mini Toss was able to bring this back, though. I thought it would have just been like a long drawn out bot game that like Mecha Shark doesn't end the game, but it's, you know won the game when the game reached that point. Instead, though, it just turns out that Minitoss, with great macro redundancy, was able to bring the game back. And yeah, props to the bot off here for programming such a bot. I know they sent in some replays and I deliberately didn't cast them because I'm like, who wants to cast a game that your bot wins? That I, that I know the result. I wouldn't be surprised if this actually was one of the replays they sent in because it, it is a darn good showing from Minitoss. We can't fault Mecha Shark too much, though. It's got great fundamentals. All I can say at this point is, ladies and gentlemen, hit that like button if you haven't already and you watched to the end of this video. Subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. I put it up on the channel as often as I can. Join the Discord, which is also linked down below. You get notified whenever we're doing tournaments, that kind of thing. Uh, consider becoming a YouTube member if you do want to support the channel. And yeah, what a great game this was. I'll definitely cast more mini toss. And more Mecha Shark, of course, too. The Banshees are still working away. Maybe, uh, maybe Mecha Shark needs a little bit more programming on the Banshees to try and avoid the detection, the cannons, a little bit more. Because there definitely was, like, it could have gone to the main base again, but it didn't. If it had gone to the main base, it probably would have just kept killing probes endlessly. And at some point, it actually unpowered these four gateways. Minitoss not replacing those.
That is, uh, that is gonna be it, though, is this isn't even a planetary to make the final stand. There is two observers out, actually grouping up with the army, which is good to see. The Banshees are fighters, doing what they can. Unfortunately, what they can is not enough, and that is the last eBay. GG.